In this quick demonstration, we're going to show you how to allocate a credit note to an invoice. In this example, if we go to customers, and this account here, A1 Design Services, we have a zero balance. But if we look at the activity on the account, you'll see that we have transaction number one, which is a sales invoice, and transaction number two, which is a credit note. They're both for £120, but in the OSTOK S column, which stands for outstanding, you'll see that they are both fully outstanding. And what we need to do is allocate them. So to match them together, we close out of the activity, go into bank accounts, now in this example we can select any account we just want to we're not receiving any money we just want to actually match the transactions together so to allocate them so we'll just leave our bank current account selected click customer receipt and then choose our customer record so a1 design services click ok and the transactions that are outstanding on the account are listed in this sort of bottom section now just before we start allocating the transactions I just want to mention this receipt details area at the top. So we enter the date, it's defaulted to the current program date which is the 14th of December, that's fine. The amount, we leave that set to zero, we're not actually receiving any money. All we're doing is we're matching the two transactions. The reference, that's not going to be recorded so we just leave that blank. And then we move down to the two transactions. So what I like to do is start with the credit transaction. Now this process is the same if it's a payment on account that you've got. So if the customer's paid a deposit, it would be posted as a payment on account. You start with the credit transaction. So we click in the receipt column, click against the sales credit, and then I'm going to click pay in full. So in this case, it puts £120 into the receipt column. We do the same against the invoice. We click into the receipt column against that transaction and pay in full. So again, it puts £120 there. The amount, it's still zero at the top, meaning that we aren't receiving any money. So we're ready at this point just to click save and that will allocate the transactions together. So if we click save, it clears the screen, we close and then go back to customers this A1 Design Services, still a zero balance. Remember, we haven't received any money. All we've done is we've matched the two transactions. So we have a look at the activity. This time you'll see the two transactions, both for £120, but this time nothing in the outstanding column. So that's how easy it is to allocate your transactions. And remember, it's the same technique for payments on account as well.